They're thinking about that right now. <laughs> They're getting pretty close to game time, too, huh? Ugh. Kurt. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you. Any concerns with an artistic license playing someone who actually lived? You can't take any. I don't think that you should. That's just my feeling. I don't think you should suddenly rewrite history about who an individual was or what makes them tick, what makes what, what they were thinking at a certain given time for a certain reason. It's just not, I don't, I'm not interested in seeing that. I'd like to see who they were and what happened. It's a tall order, but you'd give it your best shot and, and you see how you see how you stack up. So when you were approached to play this role, what was the first thing going through your mind that you wanted to get to know the real person or? No, the first thing through, going through my mind was I hope, I hope Gavin, the director, I hope when I talk with him, he talks about this and, and wants to get hockey players and wants to work with them in terms of acting, not get actors and work with them in terms of playing hockey. So when I found that to be the case, I got excited about doing it. As far as doing Herb, I said to Gavin that, well, we can go one of three ways here. I can, we can do, no, not a lot of people really know what Herb looked like and sounded like and who he was. We can do, you know, this is, like, here's Kurt Russell playing a hockey coach. We could do the sort of B version, which is here he looks like and sort of appears to be looking like a man called Herb Brooks, who was a terrific coach. Or we can go and do what I did when I did Elvis, which is just go full bore and just say, this will drop Kurt and find Herb and, and learn about who he was and just try to get the audience to accept Herb Brooks in the movie. And he said, that's what I want to do. So that's exciting, but it's also, it's daunting. You know, you, you've got somebody who's going to be seeing this movie when it's done and saying, that's me, <laughs> you know, that's, that's your take on me, thanks a lot. Or they're, they're hopefully going to say, I can't believe it. I mean, that's, that's you know, that, that's, that's shocking, that's surprising. Of course, here, um, unfortunately, uh, Herb passed away, so I won't know that from Herb, but it is nice to be able to talk to the players. And, and you actually stayed away from the cast members, like Herb did with the team? It wasn't for that reason. Yeah. The reason I stayed away from them was because they had never done a movie. All these guys had never, most of these guys had never ever been on a set. I didn't want to have any kind of confusion going on between them spending time and getting to know me and then working with me as Herb in a scene and, and trying to, it could, be, it could be very disconcerting, it could be uh, confusing to them. So I felt that even though my style of working with people is I like to talk to people and spend time with them in between shots, this time I felt that the best thing to do was to not do that because I didn't, I didn't want them to have to go through any sort of uh, oh, separating period, separating me from her, from where we were off camera to on camera. I didn't think it was going to be very, that could be dangerous. So. Well, America needs a movie like this right now, so. Well, I, you it's know, it's, just, it's, a, it's a great tale and uh, I love doing it. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Where's my thing sequel? We were